All right, she fixed the God best reincarnated. So now look at here. All these schools. Detroit bankrupt shrinking. Detroit has selling 79 abandoned schools. Not 5, 10, 15, 20, 35, 40, but 79. I'm absolutely positive as a realtor, one, not five, 10, 15, one is available and can be purchased like next week. <laughs> not next year, next week. Look at here. Look at here. Arthur Middle School, built in 1930, closed in 2005. Hey, Umar, I'm your realtor now. We're going to cut this bullshit. I'm talking from a real estate perspective. Let me tell you something. If a person is looking to buy a property and they don't make an offer, they're not serious. When I was a realtor, that's how we knew when people weren't serious. If I take you out or show you around to three, four, five, six homes and stuff, and you confused and you don't want to make an offer on nothing, we leave you alone. Hit us when you're actually serious and ready to buy. No offer, no sincerity. See, when St. Paul College was available, Four years ago, that's why I called the realtor to see what the hell is happening because I had my real estate hat on, right? Look at all these schools. We just gonna go down the list. But what they say is, look, closed in 2007. All these schools are abandoned and closed in Detroit. Can't tell me, because I know better, that you can't find a school. That's bullshit. If you can't find a school, you not trying. You bullshitting. Look here. When I called that school in St. Paul, Virginia and found out the man didn't make an offer and do no paperwork, I said, oh, shit. Because I knew from a realtor's perspective the seriousness of people who don't want to make an offer on a property. Making an offer on a property does not mean you're stuck with that property or trying to get it. You're just making an offer and then what you do is give them a good faith payment. Give them 5,000 G's to hold it. And so you guys can negotiate the price and the particulars. That's all it takes. So. And then you work out some bidding and prices and you figure it all out. I'm still scrolling all these abandoned schools. Look at this one. Crockett High School was abandoned. Closed in 2012. As a realtor, you can't tell me properties aren't available. And when a person says, hey, I'm looking at this school. I'm looking at that school. I'm looking at this school. I got my eye on this school. We don't need nobody looking. Don't have your eye on it. Put a pen on it. Put some pen and paper on it. Looking, on, looking at some schools doesn't mean shit. To me, y'all can think that's work and somebody progressing to trying to find a school when they say I'm looking at this school in Atlanta. I'm looking at this school in Chicago. I'm looking at this school in Detroit. I'm looking, 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 looking. You're just looking. Looky-loo. We don't need looky-loos. We need paperwork on these schools, right? So in four years, not one offer has been made on any school not just these 79 schools was not an offer made no offer was made on any school in the united states of america in four years that tells realtors that a person is not serious and really not trying to buy any property they just want to collect money for years and years until they end up self-sabotaging and blowing it for themselves and keep the money. And or 
They want to keep collecting and collecting and collecting and collecting until you do find something. And guess what? It's just a small little school where you only need to spend maybe a hundred thousand dollars and you pocket the rest and you tell everybody a sad story. I didn't get the one I want, but I got this one. And you pocket everybody's money and you go about your business running this small school. Any school is cool, but come on now, man. I don't fall for the bullshit. I'm still scrolling out all these empty schools. Last year, over a year ago, I posted a school and had somebody send it to Umar. Never did he check into it. Never did he all make an offer on it. So check this out, fam. This is shit all over Detroit. Look, Detroit is loaded with abandoned schools. You tell me why an offer hasn't been made in four years. I didn't say a deal go down and a purchase. Just an offer. Fill out a paperwork. Say I'm interested. Here's a good faith estimate. Hold it. Let's work out some negotiations. None of that has been done because nobody is serious. Check this out. When a person is not in a position to buy a property, a school, some land, they don't make an offer. Because people don't have a real estate team. So I'm just gangster in Umar now and just telling him, hey man, I'm your realtor now. With me, we're not gonna be waiting no years, right? Thing about it is, as a realtor, I know that what you can do is what? You can just buy the damn land with no building on the damn thing and get it cheap, right? And then all you got to do is throw some bungalows on the property and make a, a damn basketball court on the land so kids can play and shit sometimes. You know them bungalows, you just roll the little, the little cart up and, and drop it down on the land, manicure the land, cut the damn grass, clean it up. You know what I mean? I don't know if you need swing sets with little bo with boys and stuff. I don't know how old these kids are, but it's not hard. That's a cheap way out. I think they call bungalows. And those are like, you know, storage bases, basically. You just roll them up and put some chairs. All the chairs, desks, computers, all that stuff can be donated because we got your back, Umar. Oh, we had your back. <laughs> but we got your back. All that shit could be donated. And trip this. You only got to put 15% down at the max 20% down. So guess what? You find you a property 300000 what? Um, just say say it's ten percent down. Um, you put three thousand down on a property that's um, no no no. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm trying. I can't do the math in my head. But fifteen percent of whatever the property is isn't much. You got a load of money still left over, right? A load of money. A load of money. Right? There's no excuse. See, when a person's in a position to buy, they have a real estate team. Umar don't have a real estate team. Who's this realtor? Call him out. No transparency? There is no real estate team. Because his real estate team would have been like, what the fuck is you waiting for? So, I'm the damn realtor now. What you need, Umar? I got you. I, I, I gotta, I, I have, I'll have a list of all, everything in every state. So we're talking about, I got a list of a thousand schools. You can't get one. See, also when a person is not in a position to buy because their credit is bad, or maybe they don't have a paperwork trail. You can't buy if you don't have a paperwork trail. Trust me. If you can't show them two years bank statements and stuff like that, see, look here. In four years, just check this out and think about it, fam. Every month, every year of 2000, just every year, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, every month people come at him offering him help. Every month, 12 months out of a year, for four years, he turns everybody down. I don't need your help. Hey, I got this for you, Omar. I don't need your help. If you help him, you're in his business. He don't want you in his business because you'll know he's not serious. Right, right, right. Who's calling me? What up? I'm going to call you in two minutes. Two minutes. 
So, Dagger Squad, Garfield, offered him credit repair services. He got a financial team all set and ready to help Umar. Offered him services several years ago. Did Umar accept and help? No. He don't want a team. There is no team. There's only supporters and Umarites. He's not even in the position to purchase. That's why a purchase hasn't went down. Y'all think he is. Talk don't matter. Paperwork matter. I don't listen to shit nobody say no more. I listen to your actions. There's been no actions. No offer in four years on not one school. I'm rolling, rolling. Look, additionally to this, guess what they got here? Private school consulting firms, right? Education group, international private school startup specialists. They will assist you in all you need to start up a school. Did Umar contact them? Guess what they help with? School startups, buying and selling schools, strategic planning, where's the damn planning? Board of governance, where's the board? School operation management, leadership searches and coaching, market feasibility and study business plan. Where's the business plan? Institutional assessments. They will help you get a school counseling, show you what to do, all the ropes, anything you need. Where is the team at? I'm telling you on what God loves. This man never planned on actually purchasing and buying a school. He wanted to collect money. When niggas get to talking about I'm going to Africa, maybe I'm going to look for a school in Africa, that means your gig is up and you're paranoid and you're thinking of a way out is what you're doing. When you say that, you're thinking of a way out. All y'all got to do is think for your damn self. If I told you, hey, I'm looking, I might move to Africa, fuck you, and I'm sitting on a $700,000 of y'all money, what are you going to think? Who says that? Who even plays around with words like that? No offer in four years? Y'all believe what you want. I'm no fool. You guys are the fool. You guys are the enablers. You guys fucked the school up for everybody by enabling cosigning bullshit. Well, you should have checked this shit two years ago. Guess what? Let somebody get into a school, right? And set it up and then they fuck up because their professionalism is bad. They would fuck up the brand for the whole entire Afrocentric people because you guys let shit go down that wasn't supposed to go down. But shit wasn't going to go down anyway. I'm just telling you from a realtor's perspective. If I take a client out and they don't make an offer, ain't willing to make an offer, they are not serious. Bottom line. You can talk all that good shit all you want that you serious. I don't believe it. I believe actions. I'm out of here. Y'all have been bamboozled. Your money's gone. And this dude got all kind of charges on him now. It's impossible for him to open up a school if we gave him a million dollars right now. He couldn't open up a school. He's not in a position. No state, city, or county is going to even let him do it. This dude is talking about blowing the heads off of police with pistols and shit. And telling people, they're not going to let him. Your money is gone. 